Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. For today's video, I wanted to talk about the MM size on the go. I just received it in the mail. Last week, I posted my wishlist 2020 video and I mentioned in the video that the On The Go was one of those new Louis Vuitton releases that I was intrigued, maybe interested, I was not sure. Since I was not able to get this bag in person at the boutique, I had no choice but to order it online. Of course, I was lucky that I was even able to order it online uh, and then see it for myself. And since I already have it in my hot hands, I might as well just let you know what I think about it and why I decided not to keep it. By the way, I know you guys will be asking me, so my outfit today, I am wearing a Balmain jacket, denim jeans that you will see in my cutaway when I do modeling shots with the bag. These really cute pieces are gold-plated and they're by Happiness Boutique. By the way, they changed their packaging and it's really cute now and very colorful. These crawler earrings are also from a Happiness Boutique. They're very shiny. I'll try to do a close-up for you guys. So here's the other side. This is how the earrings look like from the front. They're very, very cute and then very well made. And then on the back, you see the post and then the little hook here on the side. So I'm going to talk about dimensions. I'm going to talk about uh, compared to, let's say, the Neverfull MM as well as the Speedy 25, how the size compares. I'm gonna talk about weight. Let's talk about what I really liked just from a first impression point of view. What I really like is the contrast between the giant monogram, a uh, reverse monogram on this side and the regular brown color that we are accustomed to. I really do like the giant monogram feature on it. It really is, it's just, it's just different. It's, it's actually really nice. I really like this reverse side because I feel like this side is gonna look really really good on almost like any outfit and then if this side does not work then you always have the classic side which pretty much means that this bag will you'll, you won't have to think about which outfit you put on it will most likely gonna look cohesive together so I really like that I like all the details between the contrasting uh, you know, reverse and classic colors, regular size monogram. This side is regular size monogram reversed. On the chaps and on the handle is the mini size monogram. Uh, and then they always contrast the color. Same with this side. And I personally really like this side. It's very, very nice to look at from afar especially. And even close up, it's really nice to look at. And then I like these details, the contrasting details again. All the rivets and all the hardware is looking... They look like the shiny hardware to me. So it doesn't look like they skimped on... You know, sometimes they have the matte and then they have the regular shiny. That's kind of like really a turn off. Same with the straps. They did the contrasting thing again. And then the monogram is the mini monogram pattern. Looking from the inside, you have um, the clips that you can clip the bag together from the top. Two smaller slip pockets on the inside and then a zip pocket. It doesn't go all the way down but it's pretty deep and then of course you've got the documentations. I'm not going to show you those things. I just mainly want to talk about the bag. By the way, I decided to re remove my earrings because um, I removed this side and then this side started falling. So <laughs> my ears are not really the right shape for these ear cuffs uh, or your yeah your cuff so unfortunately another feature that i really like about this bag is the size i feel like this size even though it is called the tote it is for me kind of like a handbag size it is a really nice handbag size which is going to be pretty versatile for a lot of people especially if you like holding your handbag by hand or by the crook of the arm this really looks really beautiful the size is perfect for that the main canvases as well as the top the bottom um, it's pretty much all tucked in so the way they sew it they tuck it in and then they sew it so there's no um, raw edges to seal on the main canvases. So the only pieces of canvas that is glazed are these detailed ones, like these little pieces here on all four corners. 
as well as on the Toron handles. So, oh, and in the chaps as well, on the side of the chaps. The straps also are completely glazed. The hardware is stamped Louis Vuitton on it. It's kind of hard to see, but it does say that. And then it is all shiny hardware throughout, which I like. It's very minimal hardware anyway. And there's um, this one, which is shiny hardware as well. And then the uh, rings, the D-rings from the strap, also shiny hardware. Things that I don't like about this bag, this strap kind of reminds me a little bit of the Pochette Mitsu strap. It is thinner than the Pochette Mitsu and it is not as hard as the Pochette Mitsu. Obviously without owning this bag and without knowing for sure, I feel like this strap won't necessarily be more comfortable than the Neverfull even though the Neverfull has a much thinner strap. I feel like whenever you have a canvas strap, um, and the canvas tends to be more on the thicker side because this is definitely a thicker canvas They definitely did use a I guess a more structured canvas to make this bag then I feel like these little straps will also Dig in if, if your bag is really really heavy um, How much it will dig in and how much pain you feel will depend on how good of a shoulder you have I Think it won't be good for me. So personally I'm not really a big big fan of the straps. I feel like the one that I have right now, this made in USA one or just this particular one that I just have in my hands are not glazed properly. Some people will not even see that kind of thing but I do notice it and I that's what I mean by when I examine a bag before I take it home, I really look at everything or at least I try. So like for example, on this side, you're gonna see some whites on the side of the glazing. It's very, very minute. I don't even know if it'll show on camera, but just look at where the glazing is. There is a little bit of white showing, which means, in my opinion, it means that it's not sealed properly. Maybe if it's glue or whatnot, but the fact that I see white um, even though it's a little bit and it's not just on this one it's a little bit on this one as well and then a little bit on this one and on all four so on all four I see a little bit of white peeking through the the glazing edge I don't know that just turns me off um, it is to me I don't know with the price being over 3,000 Canadian dollars, I feel like it should be made like a $3,000 bag. I'm gonna show you the white speck that I was talking about you see it here? It's very hard to focus. You see that little white speck? I know it's a very small detail, but it's on all four corners. Like, what is going on? See, like, all these threads coming off? Like, the raw edges from the canvas coming off? Like, these are the little details from a craftsmanship point of view that I find unacceptable. See? It's all over the bag. It's not just one place which is why I'm not super happy about. Another thing that I'm not crazy about my particular bag is the smell. I don't know why, but the moment I unboxed it, I noticed the smell was different. It's more chemically. It's not super bad, I guess. It's, it's not gonna kill me, I suppose, but it's not pleasant either. And it's not the regular, I shouldn't say the regular, but the nice smelling LV smell that we're all used to, it's not like that. It's different and I really do not like that. I knew it coming in that the GM size was going to be really heavy. I hear that the GM size is, um, it's over two pounds for sure, but I don't remember exactly how much. I think it's at least two and a three quarter pounds, so 2.75 pounds. I think that's the number that I remembered. Of course, this is not as heavy as the GM which is good but it's still pretty heavy for a small size bag that I consider a handbag size. I know that once I put my stuff in and wearing it on the crook of my arm or by hand that I will get tired very very quickly and I know that there is a shoulder strap and this shoulder strap is okay but the, th but the drop of it because it is the smaller size is actually not any longer than the never full mm the problem is that this bag is a lot more structured and feels a lot more bulky it's not like the never full that kind of like blends with your body it kind of almost like molds to your body because it's so soft and um 
just a great design I guess. This one kind of just bulges out your arm, you don't know where to put it. You can't really just throw the bag to the back of you because the canvas is so stiff. It just isn't as comfortable as I thought it would be. Given the fact that these straps are thicker, I thought that they would be more comfortable. Now, assuming that they would be comfortable and that they don't give me shoulder pain i feel like just the fact that the drop is so small on such a structured bag that it's kind of a turn off but from the point of view of tucking the straps inside i understand why they make it shorter because they want to make it just so that they graze the bottom not like be all over the place but from the functionality point of view when you start using the handbag on your shoulder it's just too much bulk for your arm to rest my scale is broken but i saw a video of um, a really nice lady reviewed it i think her name is mrs tan if i remember correctly anyway i'll try to link it down below she mentioned that the mm size is one pound and 13 ounce which is almost two pounds which is pretty heavy if you ask me for an empty bag especially if you start using an organizer and everything else that you put in a tote so this is the thickness of the strap so it does feel a bit more rigid i don't know if you can tell from me just like doing this motion um, but yeah the overall bag itself the canvas is quite thick and therefore um it does feel a little bit more heavy substantial i think a lot of you might not mind about the weight but just personally um i just i just feel like it's already heavy to begin with on the booklet it says canvas and leather here in french toile et cuir but there's no leather whatsoever on this bag except a little bit of tags the the paris louis vuitton tag and the inside tag that says made in usa there's no leather whatsoever i'm not kidding guys this smell is very off-putting like the more i am holding it in front of the camera the more i dislike it it's it has this very unpleasant smell anyway it's going back my macbook air 13 inch so mine is the 2017 model. I think the newer models could be smaller dimensions. And the MacBook Air is not the smallest one. It's the thinnest one, but it's not the smallest di dimension wise. Um, so you might want to take that into account. This 13 inch laptop basically does not fit lengthwise in this bag, which is very disappointing because I thought, you know what, maybe if it fits my laptop, then I could still kind of use it as a work bag or something similar. To that effect but basically in order for this laptop to fit in it it has to be diagonal which is not fun at all look at it and i'm gonna give you the dimensions of the inside i think that's more helpful this is my neverfull mm organizer and this is my speedy b25 organizer or the speedy 25 organizer and basically this bag is right in between these two sizes because this won't fit in it so it basically tells you that the uh, Neverfull is bigger. I've put my Speedy 25 organizer in it and as you can see, I tucked it all the way there. So you can see that there's still a little bit of space over here on the left side. You could potentially just use your Speedy 25 organizer in this in a pinch and you know, just have the sides a little bit empty because this kind of just goes in a little bit anyway. So maybe it is better to use a speedy 25 organizer in it but it just goes to show that this bag is really not that big um it's because the sides go in these sides go in you you know you can fill it up and and really expand it but you if you want it to look really pretty and keep its shape then you want it to be curved inside right you don't want it to be completely out the whole time it's the side right obviously the bag is a lot taller but um depth wise they're very similar one is just rounded corners and this one has more of a uh, structured corners this way there, it looks like there's more of a difference except that this one you really can utilize all the space in it whereas this one remember that it is curved in here's a visual with my never fall mm size it looks about the same but it fits, I feel like 
it fits things so differently like I feel like this one because you've got the sides tucked in it doesn't have the same capacity as this one where it's really wide open and you see everything at a glance my conclusion is that I really do like this bag aesthetically I feel like um, it is a really good handbag size tote bag if you want a tote look it has this very nice chic more uh, put together look definitely uh, compared to the Neverfull. The Neverfull is a lot more casual. So it's really just a different vibe. So I do like the look of it, but with all the negative that I described and the weight, especially the weight, just me holding it and reviewing it and the smell, oh my gosh, I cannot get over the smell, um, is, is a big turn off for me. And the fact that this is over $3,000 after tax, so this right now currently um, retails for 2880 Canadian, so $2,880 Canadian plus tax. The Neverfull is so much more practical, it still fits a lot. It's a lightweight bag when it's completely empty, like no organizer compared to this one. This feels like a brick, it's like so heavy, it feels like double the weight of the Neverfull, which the Neverfull, once I load it up, is already quite heavy. The fact that this is already heavy without anything inside means that once i load it up it's just gonna destroy me it's gonna be so heavy think about the scenario you are gonna use this bag as is it gonna be an everyday errands bag is it gonna be a work bag etc are you going to be taking public transit or are you going to be driving or you know all these factor in the fact whether this will be suitable for you because if you're driving and you're just using it for work then perhaps it might work for you although like i said my laptop didn't even fit in it if you're using it as a just like everyday bag as your regular handbag and if you take a lot of public transit i think this will be too heavy uh, especially I feel like this size is more geared towards petite ladies and petite ladies usually <laughs> don't like heavy bags I feel um, but I could be wrong uh, maybe it's just me uh, but yeah I just uh, it's a little disappoint it's a little underwhelming for me I feel like if they changed a few things if they made it lighter um, if the craftsmanship was a little bit more consistent with what I'm you know with what i wish a luxury bag to be and also maybe if the strap on the inside was a little softer and longer then i think it would be a perfect bag to get especially because style wise it is quite different from the neverfull it is still bigger a little bit bigger than the 25 speedy but you can really yank it open and see everything at a glance i hope that you guys appreciated the fact that i showed you before i returned it because i normally don't do that like i said i always just review things that i have and that i own or that i know for sure i'm keeping but in this case it just happens that right now nowadays lv is very hard to get so i had to order it online i was even lucky to be able to but like i said it just didn't work out so hopefully you guys appreciate it One more thing about the strap is that whenever you use it and you want to put it down, I guess the straps will stick out unless you tuck it back in and sometimes tucking it back in can be a hassle uh, depending on what you have inside I guess or depending on whether you even like to have the habit to tucking it back in. 
um, but like I said it is really like a handbag size bag um, I think it looks very polished both bags right now are completely empty but this feels like feathers to me compared to this this one is is quite substantial and honestly they're both really pretty but between the two and price wise and just what I need it for and also describing the things that I did not like the strap drop on the Neverfull is very similar to the On The Go MM except that because this bag is more squishy um, I guess unless it's full but it's still really squishy it doesn't feel extremely hard to toss it to the back like that it definitely feels a lot more comfortable to me also because the canvas is a little thinner I guess it's not super thin but it's a little thinner in comparison I feel um, and the bag alone is just a lot lighter uh, it might not look as polished as you may be able to tell just from looking at this the Speedy B is still a completely different bag but I don't know the vibe is very similar because um, they're both a hand carry bag I, I guess this one you also still have the option of crossbodying it with the extra strap but again just picking up both alone uh, completely empty this is light as feather so my obsession with it is officially over I guess if you found this video helpful I would really love it if you decide to subscribe like and comment down below to let me know I hope that you are doing very well have a great day and week ahead of you and I'll talk to you again very soon bye